Shout about that because you're worried about everything going on around you and all David is trying to get you to see is that God's got you covered on your back. And he's got you covered on your front. And he's got his hand on you to make sure that you go where he wants you to go. Oh, come on, I'm going to keep practicing that thing until y'all get it because that's really the point. And if you really get it like you ought to get it, you'll be able to shout this place down because you understand that he's got you covered all the way. All right, let me see if I can get this way. Lord, be a bitch. He hits me in in front because he's going ahead of me to remove the obstacles that would block Say that. Say that now. And then it says he hits me in behind. And I said, okay, God, I know you're taking care of the haters and the naysayers and the folks who are always going to stick a dagger in my back. I know you got them already under control. But then he says, no, 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 no. He says, preacher, that's not the only reason I'm behind you. I said, well, why else are you behind me? He said, sometimes I'm, I have to get behind you because even though I've already cleared the way, you'll allow what you see in front of you to cause you to get stuck where you are. He said, so sometimes I've got to go behind you so I can give you a little bit. Yeah. You don't have to worry about what it looks like in front of you because I've already gone before you to prepare for you. I've gone before you to prepare for place. You don't have to worry about it. You don't want to fight with it either. Let's show about feet in the light. Because I don't care what it looks like, he's already got me covered. 